fuck me. Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of Marathon of Misery. In fact, the season one finale of Marathon of Misery uh, does not mean that this show is getting cancelled, it just means that I'm going to take a little more of a substantial break because, you know, I just can't keep playing shitty games. Uh, I'm going to let my um, school stuff come to a close because this show is really difficult to record when you have a bunch of stress going on. Anyway, what better way to end off a season? We started with a flying game, which was VR Stalker. We are going to close out the season with another flying game, but the platform we are on is, if we unpause it, the Sega CD. That's how you know we're in for a good time, is we're playing a Sega CD game developed by Absolute, the same people that made uh, Penn and Teller's Smoke and Mirrors along with uh, the Home Improvement SNES game. Also, we have a uh, Micronet, whoever these people are with their spinning logo. I'm gonna go grab my, grab my controller. But uh, I actually know when the game starts. I'm like, who's about to do that? Okay, so we're just fighting evil pyramids and the Death Star. This is this is what you call a good game. Oh, I thought the fucking city was about to blow up. Never mind. So these pyramids show up and throw robots upon everything. Now we're blowing up the city. I thought we blew up the city earlier, but now we're blowing up the city for real this time. So, what are we gonna use to stop these monsters? These robots. These bitches, these bitch, these bitch droids. It is 2500 AD? All right. AX 101. I thought this was gonna be some like Sega CD hidden gem, like Terminator was and even smoke and mirrors to an extent. But this is god awful. I mean, it's not the worst game ever made, but you'll see why I feel it's very annoying. Anyway, we have these guys floating off into these chairs going up elevators. Where's he being taken to? And yeah, we're using planes to stop this threat. We're using super planes. Behold, the not so uncanny ripoff to Star Fox. Actually, it's pretty uncanny how much of this is ripping off Star Fox right now. Anyway, there you go. There's the entire opening sequence. So, AX101. Uh, I'm going to set some options. Level normal? No. Fuck that. We're going... You know what? Yeah, I might as well just go on normal. Uh, so, there you go. Once you hit start, you go into the game. So, we're going to start the hour in three, two, one. Booyah. There you go. Game start. Mission start. Captain to all fighters. Destroy all enemies encountered in Earth's orbit and head for Prism. Roger, I read you. We'll send those Gerzon creeps flying. Yeah, let's go get them. I read you loud and clear, Skipper. So we're going to Planet Prism. Actually, no, we're fighting off the evil football. <laughs> The big old giant evil football. Okay, so let me show you why I chose this game for Marathon of Misery. There is one 
Very obvious reason for this, and it's when we get into the game. And we see that. Check this out. Look at the look at the power system. The way you shoot enemies in this game is just insane. It's insane. It's fucking insane. Basically what you can do is either rapid fire everybody or you can sit there and charge your shots. However, once they start shooting at you, charging your shot is completely worthless. There's no reason to not just fucking spray and pray. There's no reason not to, because fucking... Trying not to do that, it's just fucking insanity. I mean, it's true that you can instantly kill enemies with that kind of shot. Okay, so A and C shoot regular bullets, and then B throws a bomb. Okay, enemy reinforcements. Ah, fuck. It's those stupid yellow rock things that keep killing you in this game. My fucking god. Oh my god! Yeah. The main problem with this game is trying to shoot people. It's a nightmare. Trying to shoot people in this game is a nightmare. Because you just... Eh. There's no lock-on, obviously. And your aiming reticle doesn't move fast enough. Eventually, there's too many enemies for you to try to see anything that's going on. Look, look at this! You put red enemies on a red background! Congratulations, Absolute! You guys are fucking geniuses! So I could already tell that thing was coming for me. Fuck. Over there. Feels like dumb luck when you kill something. Oh, and by the way, you know how, how much they refill your shields after a level? You either fill it up all the way, or none. Am I about to die? Damn, they got Bob. I can't believe it. It's time for revenge, gang. Let's give them a little taste of their own. Okay, they killed the annoying one, so realistically, I don't care.
What's the repercussion of missing a flying shot? Nothing! Also, your comrades never seem to be in the line of fire. So if you shoot at them, you're just alright. You, you never have to worry about killing your teammates by complete accident. Oh, so there are five planes, including you. Or you're playing as one of them. Then I'll make it clear. Welcome to Prism. Guess what? It doesn't look any fucking different because it's just bullshit Sega CD graphics. And especially because look where we're going! More technological horse shit! Oh, actually... This is like, what, a base? So they're not allowed to fight the other robots because they're similar robots, but not similar enough to be fighting everybody. So now we have the AX-101. This game makes no sense. Yeah, but we're still gonna fly in there and blow shit up anyway. Yeah, let's just go blow up a planet so we can go to another planet so we can blow it up. Let's just blow up everything now that we have this super awesome mega weapon. See the problem here? You, you gave me the fucking title weapon too early. Why couldn't we have a couple fucking levels to build up the game's cast, and then we get the super mega weapon? No, that wouldn't be cool enough. Okay, so now we got spiky drill things. Because of course they would have spiky drill things. Anyway, look! They restored my health! Don't expect that too often in this game, because in actuality, this game has no fucking mercy. As you can see, I can't shoot these things! I can barely shoot these things because the targeting reticle is not precise enough. So you don't know whether or not you're definitely shooting something. Meaning, it gets really annoying trying to shoot things that are clearly in front of you, but it just won't fucking register half the time. Especially if you like charging your shots, which I don't recommend doing in this game most of the time. Because after a while, it's just impossible. Because the enemies just get too relentless for that. Look, the, look at these fuckers. They fly across the screen and they fucking shoot you with the, with the half time to shoot you. 
It's like, oh. So now we're in the defense system, which awkwardly enough looks like a real, which looks like a real planet core. I mean, not our planet's core, because nobody can make it down there, because that's not scientifically possible. And you know what? I don't think any scientist in the world would want to go to the planet's core. Only because that would kind of, you know, fuck up the planet. You can be a scientist, but don't do anything that'll actually... Ah, God damn it! Uh, oh yeah, and here's my main criticism with this fucking game. The cursor moves too slow. When you're trying to shoot something like an enemy bullet, you cannot do it most of the time because the cursor just moves too damn slow. So after time when you're trying to shoot something, you're literally not going to make it in time. So it just gets insanely frustrating trying to shoot these things. Because half the time, it just doesn't work! Like, look at that! I was shooting that fuck nut the entire time and it didn't work. Mostly because of this game having a slow-ass cursor and having a shitty hit detection. Yeah, trying to shoot these fuckers with the charge up with the charged up shot is impossible. Unless it's like the very first thing that pops out of the screen. Meaning if you miss, you're right back to spraying the enemies down again. Also, the shields might... Oh, okay, so the shields slowly heal over time. But it's still not going to be enough. Oh boy. Satellite thingies. Because we can't just find the thing we're supposed to blast unless that's it. Just find a fucking hole to shoot in the ground! Now these things are actually kind of easy to shoot because they linger out for a little bit. Leaving you able to one-shot them with a charged... So now we're going into the deep dark hole. No, we're not. We still have no fucking clue where we're going. And there's the lack of mercy I was talking about. They'll fucking shoot you before you even get on screen. And I'm fucked. I'm taking damage. That part I just healed off? Gone. Radical sucks. Why couldn't they give me any modifications to my radical? You should look at how many types of enemies they throw at you. There are like 50 types of enemies. Did you see the problem with this boss yet? It took me like 60% of my health before I killed it because it just kept shooting me over and over and I couldn't shoot the bullets because of bad hit detection. Does this game look fun to you? And this is on normal mode, okay? Oh no, I think this is the furthest I made it. Cause you gotta shoot these fuck nuts. Oh 
Fuck it. And look, here comes it. Oh. Oh no. What animation? Basically, if you don't shoot something the millisecond it spawns, you're fucked. I dead. Oh no, I'm not dead. Okay. I mean, I'm about to die. So now you gotta shoot these crystals. However, guess what the problem is? You got these spiky fuck balls flying around. So basically you either sit there and... and never mind, I died. Oh no, I blew up. Okay, well, they tell you game over. But it's fine. You got continues in this game. Or. Or three. Oh, not another fuckball again. You basically ought to try in vain to shoot these things before they kill you. Alright, well, I'm gonna skip the cutscenes. Because it's the same shit we've already seen before. It's just. Uh, it's almost like you can't. You can't. Oh, that hit was so fucking cheap. That was so fucking cheap. I shot the thing a thousand times and it didn't work because of the hit detection. The hit detection is so sporadic and different every time. for the goddamn crystals and yet I'm shooting them anyway. And then the fucking thing shoots me. Oh my god, the hit detection is so bad. It's so awful. You can barely shoot anything. I've lost almost 50% of my health and the bombs don't even work! Not against these enemies anyway. So it's like, what's the point? I did it. I lost half my health. If not more, but I blew up this thing. So that's it. The plan is gone.
so bored with this game now. I'm, I'm just, I'm bored. Now we're hiding away in a goddamn asteroid belt. That's all that's happening. Oh my god! What the fu- How do they expect you to get up- get through this shit on three lives and no continues? Or, well, technically... Yeah, technically, there's just four lives in this game. Once you run out of continues, that's it. Game over. Start all over from the very beginning. With the giant football, the fucking invading planet, all that shit. What am I looking at? A giant dick. A giant mechanical penis. Is that what I'm looking at? Yep, uh, we gotta fight that. And now welcome to the game where you can't shoot anything and I'm and are more focused on trying to just fucking evade enemy fire. And keep in mind, this game is like it's an on-rail shooter. You once a bullet comes near you, it's over. That fucking that fucking bullet better be gone in the first five seconds or you're done. Did someone just die? What just happened? Oh, they're just throwing bullshit on the screen to make it harder for me. Can't shoot anything. I can't shoot anything. Okay, there. Hit something! Fuck you. Oh my god, I saw that bullet. What the fuck? Why would you? I can't see anything. We're just flying into this giant explosion for no goddamn reason. Oh wow, what a cool set piece. You're flying in an explosion and you can't see anything because of the fucking explosion. It's almost as bad as these lasers! The main obstacle in those games are those in this game are those yellow fuck nuts. So why would you make it almost impossible for me to shoot them? I shot his bullet. And yep, couldn't do it. Am I really going back into the explosion? Come on! What are we doing? Captain, we can't possibly take on that many enemy ships at once. I'll be the decoy and draw them out. When I do, get their flagship from me. But, but that's crazy. You don't stand a chance. So he's gonna die. Here we go. Make sure we take out the flank. Don't worry about the 
worry about Shelly. He's not gonna let anyone take him out. I'm right uh, behind you, Captain. Let's go. Until he dies. Where's the fucking support? They should be shooting them from enemy lines. And they should be able to shoot them from beyond, from behind the line. Oh, so now it's these fucking rocket things. Never mind, I'm dead because I can't fucking avoid all these shots. These steal some of these effects from fucking Dragon Ball. Oh, whatever. I'm about to die anyway. Continue. Continue. There's no way I'm starting that entire fleet sequence again. Oh my god! This part is almost impossible to avoid. You lose like 15 to 20 health instantly! That's instantly, you fuck brains! You can't shoot that many enemies fast enough! Oh god! Why would anyone do this? It's so annoying! Oh. So now it's the whole enemy fleet, which we're gonna be shooting them for five hours. Can't shoot any of their bullets because you can't see them. Just. Ah! God! I can't see your bullets! And I can't shoot them either! I'm losing my voice. I'm sorry. I'm losing my voice so badly. Okay, hold on. Let me pause. I need to get this jacket off of me. While I'm at it, I'm gonna get a bottle of water. Uh, mm -mm. This game is horrible. I really don't like it. Wow, I actually disobeyed the fucking target radical and I shot that thing. I just... God, this game doesn't make any sense! I shot the thing 70,000 times and it didn't work! Because it's like almost like the bullets are... The reticle is not actually where you want your bullets to go. That's just where you hope and pray they're going to go. God, those fucking fuck nuts. You can't shoot half the time. All right, right back in the explosion where you can't see shit. I can't. This part is almost impossible. This part is impossible. You can't. You seriously cannot avoid anything. Once the enemy starts shooting shit at you, it's over. This was the game that sparked a marathon of misery for me, by the way. I played this and saw just how irritating it was. And I knew. I just knew that I had to make a spin-off series. And this had to be there. Alright. Oh my god, I aimed for the fucking thing. Why are shooting enemy bullets the most difficult thing in the entire game? Why is it the most difficult? The most simple thing ever, avoiding an enemy shot, is almost impossible in this game because of the shitty aiming and the shitty hit detection. We can't possibly take out an entire enemy fleet, so I'm going to commit suicide. Ha 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 ha. 
Oh my god, how the fuck are you supposed to be able to see those missiles coming? You just, you, you can't. You can't. I cannot see all these enemy, I cannot see all these obstacles coming at the same time. You can't. You cannot see all these obstacles coming at the same time. And because of the fact that your health gets torn away from you from the last two levels, there is absolutely zero way you are able to make any kind of... Can I change the options? I want move speed. I want move speed fast. Continue. Does that work? Oh, still can't avoid getting look. 20%! Yeah, I've already lost! I may as well just rage quit the entire game. How do I rage quit? That's it. Mm -mm -mm. No, 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 no. I have to rage quit. I have to play the entire game all over again. Fuck that. Fuck it. It's impossible. You cannot beat that level because you lose all your health before you get to that bullshit. Where then you just have to use bombs over and over and over again because you cannot shoot those missiles. You can barely shoot the enemy fire. And I started the game! Damn it! Because the motherfuckers didn't... Oh, this game is so free infuriating. It's such a difficult game. This is one of the hardest games on the Sega CD. It's one of the hardest games on the Sega CD. Because you can't... It's barely possible to play. Okay, there. I did it. Alright, no cutscenes. And I'm gonna bet you five bucks that this does not make the game any easier to play. But yeah, remember this shit from half an hour ago? We get to do it all over again. Fuck you. What are you fucking? I can't fucking shoot all these things! Fuck it, don't ever shoot the planes in this game. You can't. You can't shoot these fuckers even if you try. Look at this. Look, look, look at this. Look, I'm not even aiming for my enemies and yet I still kill them off anyway. Not the other guy's gonna die. We did it, Captain. Hey, that was a piece of cake. Don't let it go to your head, Bob. Remember, one slip and we're done for. Yeah, come to think of it, there were two few. You play as the stern captain guy. I know that. I'm like 99% sure that you play as the stern captain dude because he doesn't have one of those simulated screen things. like to shoot these fucking footballs, please. Okay, here we go. G power. If there's a long play of someone legit beating this on hard, I will be genuinely surprised. I'm mean, gonna just spray the entire screen just because I already know they're gonna shoot one of those gay little fuck nuts at me.
I mean, what's the point? You basically just have to guess whether or not they're gonna shoot some bullshit at you. Oh god damn. Seven percent of your fucking health? Damn! That's bullshit. It's such bullshit. Can that guy just die real fast? Because I know he's scripted to die. There. Yeah, because what kid in the 90s would want to picture themselves as some gruff old fucking ship captain? God damn, you fucking pieces of shit! Anything that can attack you in this game? Is a nightmare on a hand basket. Alright, well, I'm just using this time to try to recover my health. Which, of course, that can't happen, because I need to take damage. I need to take more damage. I need to take more damage. I need to take more damage. Like, fuck off! Now, when you get to prism, they heal you. But then once you're off prism, that's it, you're fucked! One of their fucking goddamn submarine mines on a friendly planet to get the goddamn super weapon. Oh, this game doesn't make any sense. It does not make any goddamn sense at all. Whatever, I'm almost at the 20 minute mark, so I'm hitting the home stretch. Nope. Nope, can't, can't fuck, I'm barely shooting anything because it's pure coincidence. Yeah, you have to do this. You seriously have to do this, unless enemies get close to you. You just have to shoot willy-nilly and hope and pray that the pixels line up. That is not how you should play a video game. That design choice is inherently bullshit. Now watch this game pull like a Twisted Metal 2 on me and be like, only people in medium and hard can access the end of the game. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we've already been here before. Remember this part? Where a boss just show up and eviscerates you because they fucking couldn't design a good game? So I remember when they couldn't even let me shoot a common enemy. I remember that. Look at this, I'm shooting it 70,000 times! And just, uh, it's So random, so random. And guess what? You have to save all of your bombs. Oh my god. 88. I had 100, and now I'm at 89. Oh my god, can I shoot a thing? No, we're not. We're, we're not. You're not allowed to shoot anything. <sighs> I 
These are the slowest recovering shields. Oh, okay. I think on easy they recover faster. Okay, so it's just these things. I'm pretty sure that's the only advantage to playing on easy is that your health restores faster. That's it! The only advantage to playing on easy! It makes no difference to the gameplay whatsoever. They couldn't have been bothered to actually make the difficulty selection matter. I mean, fuck it, the boss is now... Oh no, just more fuck nuts. And more shit I can't shoot. Now I'm too accustomed to shooting only enemy fire. Boss time? Yeah, it's boss time. Okay, some hits take less damage. Okay, there you go, I killed it before losing any more health. We get it, he's blowing up. Okay, now we're dealing with the spiky fuckball. This piece of shit that doesn't barely even die. It can barely die. So now the spiky fuckball is going to fl slowly float across the screen. That's what it should do. What it should do is like if you're not getting hit a bunch, your shield should recover faster. To be an incentive to not get shot. No, this game's like, fuck that, it's so random. Some attacks will do 10 damage, and others will do, like, 3. It all just depends how much momentum they have or some shit. That should not be a factor in making a game a game's difficulty. It shouldn't. Alright, I told you it was the home stretch, because we're only at 15 minutes. I gotta look out, because not only can the spiky fucknut shoot its own fire. Okay, certain things take less damage. Okay. So there is a viable reason to switch to easy mode. Alright, fuck it. I don't care. Okay, we made it back to the enemy fucking fleet. Oh my god. I barely serve. I barely lost less than 10 health. That's just a kick in the dick. Like, unless you're a master at the shitty hit detection, then you're gonna take damage! This game is bullfuck. I might just make a save state if people wanna want me to continue this. No! God 
Damn it! Right back down to 90. God, it's so. I. Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't fucking shoot anything! You're so fucking bullshit! Oh my god! You can't fucking shoot anything in this level! You can't! There's just 50,000 bullets coming at you! Gosh! If Film and Stuff had a Sega CD and he played the shit house of a game, I would have fucking imagined that he would have made a Levels from Hell segment on this shit. Because this is so brutally fucking difficult that even on easy, it's barely... It, no, because once I get to the other shit where they just slam you with fucking bullets and missiles and shit, it's impossible. Unless I continue and get my bombs. That's the only way I can do this, is when I eventually continue and get my bombs back. Like, fuck! Right back down to 50? This game is so frustrating. It's so ungodly frustrating. Why did I why did I allow face cam for this series? <sighs> I could have 70 health right now and be semi prepared for the next area. Okay, I got a bomb. So now I can't waste it. I have to get to the next segment with the bomb. I'm just gonna shoot all over the screen just in case of bullshit any oh actually this is the end of the segment. <laughs> we can't possibly take on that many enemy ships at once. God, why do those hurt you? This area is just fucking impossible. It's impossible. You can't. You seriously cannot avoid all this shit. You literally just have to have enough health to be able to soldier through it. That's it. These fucking missiles can screw right off. You can't avoid these missiles. It's impossible. Even on easy, this shit is way too hard. Alright, well there you go. Let's burn our first continue. And go all the way back. There's no fucking checkpoints through all that fucking bullshit. The asteroid belt where they shot like five fucking bullets at you. I lost 99% of my health in one shot! It's so random. It's so fucking random. It's random. There's no other reason for it apart from it's random. And that other segment is just meant to cheese you out of your goddamn health bar. And even with the faster reticle, it's not fast enough. You cannot shoot these things fast enough. Can't fucking shoot these things. Can't fucking shoot these things! Ah! He threw a fucking gumball at my head. What the fuck? I shot it like 15 times! God, it takes, it's so bullshit. The only way to get something killed is to shoot in a circle and pray. 
Imagine they spawn an enemy projectile through all this shit. Knowing, knowing this game, I bet if you miss an enemy through all that, they'll fucking shoot you. They would just fucking shoot you through all that visual chaos. They'd just be like, oh, you weren't paying attention to the fucking enemies now, weren't you? That's it, another bullet. Go fuck yourself. Just to God. Alright, I'm waiting. Go fuck yourself, you shitty hit detection. There, I killed the enemies. Does that prevent the thing from spawning? Okay, it does prevent it from spawning. That's good. Okay, so if you do keep killing enemies, then it does reduce the chances of you getting blasted by a fuckball. Even still, there's gonna be enemies you cannot hit for the life of you. Because this game's bullshit. And it's just like, oh no, you lost health, fuck you. Alright, so I've got full health and four fucking bombs. Now the, the rest of that area is just a battle of attrition. There you go. As long as these fuckers don't shoot me! God damn it! Fucking hit detection! The hit detection in this game is so fucking awful! It's so awful! You cannot shoot anything in this game half the time because of fucking stupid hit detection. How does he even lure out all the enemies anyway? It's just fucking stupid. Well, I'm out of bombs, so if I die, then fuck it. This game is not possible. Oh my god. I could barely hit that missile. I could barely hit that missile. Oh my god. The obstacles in this level are too goddamn fast. Okay, I barely missed getting hit by that fucking missile. I barely dodged that missile, too. Like, this level is such bullshit. It's such bullshit. Wow, I have no clue how I shot that bullet. I don't know how I got hit by that missile. Just fuck! I'm getting hit by everything. No, I see a weak point. I see a weak point. There, I did it. More missiles. Oh, I did it. Now does the whole thing blow up? Finish a job for me. No! So now who are we, the girl?
Should I just stop the timer prematurely? And just give this my all? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop the timer prematurely. And just see it along. We've already broken an hour in real time. So, I mean... If it's another three minutes longer, then fuck it. Yeah, let's just keep the timer rolling. Just, just... Just for climacticness. And if we're still alive, then we'll just... Oh, please don't tell me what... Oh, God! More missiles?! I mean, in this level, they're slightly easier to see coming. Because it's not all gray like in the other goddamn level. But still, oh! Enough with the... God, the damage! Oh my god, these fucking missiles! What's the point of these jellyfish fucking things if these missiles kill you almost instantly? Like, oh god! I may as well just be on the lookout for missiles! Fuck these things! They don't pose any threat! They don't actually pose any threat! Now this will confirm to me who we're playing as. The chick is going inside the computer shit while this guy is going to fight some weird water boss. What are we doing? Okay, so we're playing as the gruff captain guy. And now they're giant throwing giant cartoon water bombs at me! Because that's what I think from a scientific super space shooter is cartoon water bombs. Fun. Wow, I actually beat it in one life. Better not throw a missile at me, I swear to God. Don't do it. Don't do it. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, you mother cheap motherfuckers! These motherfuckers are so cheap. They're so cheap. music can we not what not figure out where to go hold on I'm gonna stop the timer now all right if we game over then that's it moment of true destiny all right I'm gonna die there's nothing I can do is this another boss Another boss? I just fought one! You fucking game! <sighs> oh god. Continue. Oh my god! No checkpoints? I gotta do the missile shit all over again? Alright. You know what? Let's prove it. Let's prove these fucking jellyfish things are not the real enemy. Oh my god, you literally don't have to give a fuck about them. You just have to shoot the missiles. That's all you have to do is shoot the missiles. What's the fucking point of the enemies in this game? They are simultaneously the most difficult thing, and yet the most easy fucking thing to kill in the entire game. These guys are the most fucking rage-inducing, yet most incompetent pieces of shit ever. They literally, all they do is just huck bullshit at you. 
Okay, so she's gonna go for the fucking main computer. I gotta deal with fucking... Fuck! There. I've got fucking 60% health. And potentially another bomb. So now that last area should not be very hard. Honestly, I'm not in the mood to continue this one. Like, I'm not. Even if I'm, like, right there, who gives a fuck? I don't care. Especially when the game tries to give you one last kick in the nuts. Okay. Hold on. How do you do save states in here? How do you do it? I'm not going to spam them to beat the game. I'm just going to use them. Oh, error saving state. Never mind. Who gives a fuck? Okay, never mind. Oh my god, the fucking horrible collision detection! I died! How did I die? It's because of the fucking horrible collision detection and those yellow fuck nuts. Screw this game. I'm done. I'm fucking done. Save a state, you fucker. Fuck it. One more time. One more time. From the top. Let's go through the entire fucking missile shit again. This time, I know what I'm supposed to do. Because these bombs are the most useless goddamn thing in the world, except for fucking enemy fire. Trying to kill a boss with bombs is the stupidest thing you could possibly attempt to do in this game. Oh! Oh my god! Fuck this game and its asshole! I shot the thing seven times! Seven! And it didn't contact! Of course it wouldn't! Now I would have to play the entire game again! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck this game! Fuck this timer! Fuck it! Fuck it to hell! This season is done. And I am not happy. <sighs> but let it be known that there are more shitty games out there. And I'm going to try to play as many of them as I possibly can so that I can say that I've played some bad games in my life. <sighs> anyway, I have been Reaper Vegas, and I will see you all next time.